Jesse Naylor, friend of the show, going on live with him tonight. No, just kidding. Grinded the tape and found vi- visual evidence that Trent Taylor is tipping plays most of the time. Um, hats off to Jesse. This is going viral on Twitter. This is some great, great detective work. Jur- this is journalism. This is great shit. Good stuff, Jesse. Um, I do want to point out that I mentioned this after the Chiefs game uh, that Trent Williams was lining up way farther off the ball on uh, pl- pass plays and run plays. And if you go back, he actually got flagged in that game for an illegal formation because his left leg was so far off the ball. They, they're like, that's against the rules, Trent. Um, so this has been out there. Also, Bears defender, rookie, mentioned this after week one. So this is happening. Trent Williams is tipping plays, and if you don't, if I didn't explain it, on pass plays, he has his left foot way back, and on run plays, he tends to have it parallel to his right foot. This is a tell. Teams have noticed. And a question all year is, why is the Niners' offense underperforming? All this talent, great coach, what is the deal? And there's been no clear answer. Well, if they're tipping plays, that could sort of explain why an offense that should be scoring 25, 26, 27 points a game is scoring 22. I don't know. What do you think about this development, Jose? I don't think it's the reason why the offense isn't performing. You, you, you mentioned that the answer isn't clear. I think it's clear as day. It's Kyle Shanahan. It's Kyle Shanahan. It's all freaking day. Now, to Jesse's credit, it's beautiful. Great talking point. It's good to point out because I don't think the common fan knew that. And for the people who were claiming they knew that, I think they're just being a hater and being fake. Um, it's like, come on. like. I, but I said from the last game, at least, I can't talk about the other games. But the last game, at least, I don't feel that that those those tip plays was really giving the Chargers an advantage. I feel like it was more so because even I knew what the sequence was going to be like. What kind of play type? This is going to be a run. This is going to be a, oh, this is going to be right. a, oh, typical Shanny. Come on, man! Like the same didn't thing help the Rams either. Like, didn't help the Rams either. No, yeah, it's it's so obvious. Like, come on. So I don't think it's too look and like the way the cheating stances. All positions do that. Hell, cornerbacks like wide receivers. Hey, he's playing off coverage. Most times, the, most times he's going to be playing off coverage because it's zone. Unless mm-hmm. your guy's fast and you're just playing off coverage, man, to give yourself mm-hmm. a cheating bump. Or hey, he's coming up close to me. He's shading his stance to the outs to the sideline, so he's going to pr- press me inside. Maybe that's man, or maybe it's just relief. I mean, no. If he's cheating, if he shades to the sideline, that means I know it's most likely not man because he would want the sideline as his other boundary to push me toward. So there's every position has that. Um, it's just a little bit harder because on the uh, it's just more of a debacle here because we talked about just now the running game isn't wasn't successful so maybe because in that point it's like hey look Trent Trent's running parallel he's lined up parallel it's gonna be a run maybe they have a sign because that's not out of the realm of possibility players do pick that up and will have like codes like like they'll do a like they'll do a sign like anything you see like they can do anything like with their fingers mm-hmm, they can say a mm-hmm. word like just so, so you can relay it. Um, it's the same thing when when defensive ends or outside linebackers warn the corner, hey, watch the crack, or they'll say something, watch the crack block from the tight end or something like that to keep your head on the swivel. But ultimately, I don't think it's really stinging the offense. I, I will blame Kyle a thousand percent on that and the way he's calling plays. Um, I, I don't I don't think it's really be detrimental. I, I wouldn't write it off, man. I mean, this is a team that just that like Christian McCaffrey got shut down by the Chargers, who couldn't shut any running <clears throat> game down. So I'm thinking that. There's got to be a reason the Niners rank 20th in the run game in yards per carry. And this couldn't, this isn't helping. Now, you could say, like, a lot of times, if it's third and seven, you watch any offensive line, any offensive tackle, he's going to have his left leg, he's going to have his outside leg back anyway. You know a pass is coming. But, so you can do that sometimes. If it's a two-minute drill and you're, you're, you, you can do that. But if it's first and 10 early in the game, you can't do that. And if you do, I think teams are going to notice. If it's not the player, it's going to be a coach. It's going to be someone. And if you're giving them a tell before the snap, hey, it's first and 10, I'm pretty sure they're going to run on this play. Maybe that's why the Niners' run game just got kind of shut down until the very end by the freaking Chargers. So it just feels like, look, the Niners have a lot of talent on this team. But one thing we've talked about with the offense since McDaniel left is a shocking lack of attention to detail. When the hallmark of a Mike McDaniel offense is – a hyper attention to detail with this team. They had it. Now they don't. And you got Trent Williams, like the greatest left tackle of all time doing this. He could clean this up. But where, where, where is the coach saying, hey, Trent, man, look at you. Look, man, look what you're doing. Can you? This is not how you play. I, where is it? I, I don't know. You, no, the offensive line coach is also the run game coordinator. I mean, he's got a lot in his plate. It just seems like 
Jesse Naylor just probably saved the season for the 49ers. So good. <laughs> that's quality. That's quality. Quality control. Look, I wouldn't say it's. it's I'm a hundred percent indefinite. That's not nothing. I'm just saying, at least in terms of this game and the bigger picture. That's fair. That that's it's fair. more so like, like it didn't help on, the Rams. Like it. it did not but help. I feel, the like, Rams. I feel like I don't want to scapegoat Trent Williams. I feel like that's what Kyle wants. If he because that's what he's already doing. Look, he said on the comments call on Monday. Oh, we got Christian McCaffrey. And it's not. When you pointed, it's funny because I don't know how yes. to pick it up because I was on the conference call. I even asked. I'm the one that asked did. the question. About you did. So you I did. So I was like, so I was like, how did I miss that? I'm like he said that. I'm like, yeah. what a moron. Are you serious right now? Yeah. You're saying that? Yeah. Like, come on, dude. He's really just trying to save his hide. And we be talking about it that, like, not in the, first off, when Trey Lance went down, pressure rises on Kyle Shanahan. Now right. you acquire McCaffrey for an impact for an offense close to an impasse. All right. Pressure rises. Pressure, pressure rises. Pressure on, that was no excuse. Don't give me this player execution. Don't give me And on, in addition, Jimmy's playing well. Jimmy's playing well. So now you can't use him as an excuse either. And it's all on Kyle. And so it's like, oh, is it Trent oh, Williams? Trent Boy, is it his fault? What? what like, so, hey, how many coaches are on your staff? How many people? Jesse Naylor had to point this out. Nothing, no offense to Jesse. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how much money are you paying Chris Forrester to, to notice this? And I'm telling you, like, I got an email from a coach mid, mid Chiefs game saying, look at Trent Williams. He's tipping the place. I didn't have the enterprise to go to the All-22 and, and cut it up like Jesse. I might have a couple of years ago. I'm, I'm slipping. Jesse's on the way up. I, this is a big moment for him. But it's been out there. Coaches have noticed, and the Niners haven't done it. They're coming off a bye week. This is what you discover in a bye week. Someone told them week one, and they're like, it's cool. And you have a bunch of people online, like Emmanuel Acho being like, it's no big deal. Man, can we stop making excuses for the Niners, please? He can did come just... back and give Jesse credit, though. After Good. He did come back on that. So Good. Even his spiel. Um, look, but honestly, is anyone really going to talk to Trent Williams and tell him about this? No, no one's going to tell him. Is anyone? Someone, do you really envision Kyle, Chris, especially Chris? The only one who can't tell him anything is Kyle. Chris Forster is not going to tell him nothing. Anthony Lynn's not going to tell him nothing. The only one who can is Kyle, and even then, I don't think Kyle's going to tell him anything. You know how it's going to get asked. So, like one one of the beat writers is going to be kind of nervous asked, about yeah, it. They're going to be like, "Oh, on Twitter, you know how Twitter is. The experts on Twitter, and they're going to have like nervous laughing, and they're going to be and and someone's going to dismiss it, and there won't be a follow up question." That's my prediction. We'll see what happens. Brandon Penn says, "Could it be Kyle is saving his best for the playoffs if he lets it out now? Teams can study it and be ready for it when it matters. The art of war." No. Yeah, Kyle saving his best for the playoffs. The Niners are pacing themselves for the playoffs. It kind of does feel like this team is very much like, you know, we don't have to prove ourselves every week. We don't have to have a standard. We just have to squeak out wins by a few points and get to the playoffs, and then we'll flip the switch. And it's like, man, I don't know that that works in any sport, but the teams that can kind of pull that off are the teams that have won multiple championships and knows what it takes. The Niners aren't a championship team. Like, they're not. So I don't like it. At all. They should be reestablishing a standard. Let's move on. Momentum for sure. 